Starting in iGEMS 2021, release 2493 that I've got here, you can now open up PDF files. So I've got a example of one here. So if we don't have a DXF or DWG file, having a, uh, access to a PDF can program off of this. So we'll go ahead and open that up here in iGEMS. So iGEMS menu can use either open or import. So there's the PDF. So it'll bring it in. So you may need to run the analyze and cleanup tools on this to close up any gaps or smooth out some lines. So first I'll just analyze this. And we may have some gaps in there. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the cleanup tool and I'm gonna do a tolerance of zero, which will just remove any duplicated items. If I do the analyze tool again here. So now we don't have any red X's, but if we zoom in here, we'll see some of these edges aren't particularly smooth. So depending on the, uh, the application, if you wanna smooth that out, of course you can use your edge fix command up here and I can start here, go over to here, and do an arc and things like that. So it's be pretty handy for artwork like this where you may not get that uh, DXF or D DWG file, bring in the PDF file, and spend a little bit of time here just cleaning it up. Then once you've got it cleaned up, you'll want to check that scaled appropriately. So for example, if I measure from here to here, this is 135, and that slot there is basically probably supposed to be a little bit over quarter inch since this is going to be programmed for quarter inch thick material. So then we can go to our CAD tab and use our scale command. Base point, hit enter. I'm going to do R for reference down here at the bottom, and I'm going to tell it this dimension here. I want that to actually be, I want to call it 260, give myself a little bit of room for it to slide together. And now if I measure that, it should come in at 260. So that's good. And if we did more of a engineered type drawing, like this one here. So here's the part that we're supposed to cut. So we can go ahead and delete these lines. Um, so we can go ahead and delete all of this information here going to leave some of it again so I have a reference to check against. So if I measure right now from here to here, see that that is seven inches. So again, I can use my scale command. And we'll scale all that up. And in this case here, if I do my reference, I could do two for scale. Again, if I wanted to do reference, if it was something that wasn't an even, nice even number, I can do R again for reference, endpoint to endpoint, and that's supposed to be 14. And we measure to confirm that, and that is now 14. So the other thing to note on something like this is it is going to do its, of course, its best attempt to make a circle out of that geometry there. So again, we can run our cleanup tool. So I'll go with my zero for my tolerance. And it's going to be still have some flat spots. So what I would probably do in this case here is then I can go to my CAD tab and I can do circle and I can do three point circle and I can click on three points on this circle for it to draw a circle in there. Now the center of these two things might be off slightly. So if you are trying to cut this with any sort of precision, you uh, would just want to verify the dimensions to the center of that new circle that you just drew there. So what we can do is delete that and then we'll come in and we will delete this and if I measure from there to the center of here, it comes in at 1.5014. If I measure from here to center of here, then we see down here at the bottom our X is 1.5014. Our Y is 0.5, so that's good. So if I wanted to be real precise about this, then I could basically move this. So I could do my move command, move from center of here 
to intersection of here and see where that comes in at now. And x is 1.5 and y is 0 0.5, so that's good. So if you are trying to do more accurate part off of PDF, you just want to take a little bit of time to clean up the circles and make sure that they are accurately positioned. So any questions on that, let us know. Thanks.